Hey, what's up guys? This is Chris Sully Cortez coming at you. Thanks for checking out my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the Expert Shield Anti-Glare Screen Protector for the Sony A6300. Let's get into it. This is actually a pretty good screen protector. It works very well in bright sunlight. It allows you to see the screen uh, because the back of the screen on the Sony A6300 is not that good. I'm looking at you, Sony. <laughs> So that being said, you need some sort of anti-glare to cut some of the light so you can actually see the back of the screen um, when you're in bright sunlight. Now, I've tried a few, and so far this is the only one that I've been able to actually use in bright sunlight. There is a few problems uh, with this particular screen protector. Now, I have the clear version on my GH4, and that version is actually really good. It, you can barely tell it's there. There's no bubbles, very easy to put on, and it comes with a lifetime warranty. You really can't beat that. The anti-glare version, which on my Sony A6300 right here, this anti-glare screen protector, I'll have a close-up of it so you guys can see what it actually looks like on the device. It's good, but for whatever reason, it degrades the image quality when you're looking at the back of the screen. Somehow, for some reason, and I believe it's the matte finish, it causes... I, I, the only word I can come up with is speckling. Like, it, it looks like there's speckles all over the back of the screen, and it kind of makes it hard to really gauge uh, whether you're in focus, if you're using, like, focus peaking and doing manual focus, or um, when you're even doing continuous autofocus, especially on the A6300 with its phase detection, uh, so many phase detection points, you know, it, it does make it a little bit difficult in bright sunlight to see what you're actually doing, even though you can still see the screen a lot better. So there's that. So what I did is I actually went out and I took a few tests. I wanted to see, you know, how well you could see the back of the screen in bright sunlight on the A6300 with the anti-glare screen protector. So let's go ahead and take a look at that now. Okay guys, so right now I'm recording 4K video. Um, I'm in direct sunlight, as you can see, it's super bright. And here, let me adjust the screen. Okay, I can see the back. Uh, let's see if we can get this to focus here. Okay, there you go, I can see the back. It's bright sunlight. The sun is directly on the screen. Um, let's see if we can get a little closer. There we go, and I think you guys can see that. There's the time code right there. We're in super bright sunlight and it is viewable. Um, screen dimming or not, I can I can definitely see it. And let's see if we can get closer. Okay, so there we go. I'm pretty sure you guys can see that. Let's tilt the screen towards the sun. Okay, screen is tilted towards the sun. Let's get a side angle. So let's see if you guys can see that. And there's the histogram. There's the time code. Get it from this side so we're not blocking the sun. It's still recording. Oh, there we go. Okay, there we go. There's the histogram, as you guys can see. Trying not to get the shadow of the iPhone on the screen. So yeah. So it is absolutely viewable in direct sunlight, in video mode, with the darkening of the screen. Uh, I don't know, my screen doesn't darken. Maybe that's a setting that I have on or something, but I haven't noticed any screen darkening. But I know some people say it does darken uh, when you shoot in video, but I'm shooting video right now. Um, you can see right there, time code's going up, 4K video, 24P. Uh, so yeah, it works great. I can actually see, just remember, like I said, it does have a matte finish, so you will see some pixelation. Uh, it will inhibit your view a little bit. So you should be able to see it's actually pretty sunny out, even though it's kind of overcast. This would definitely be difficult in bright sunlight. So I'm just going to pull the screen out and point it so you guys can see. I can see that pretty fine. I'm pretty sure you guys can see that in the, I mean, I'm shooting it with an iPhone, unfortunately, but 
I can see the back really well. I mean, the picture's nice and clear. If we bend it down, let me adjust a little bit so you guys can see. Well, the iPhone's not gonna get it, unfortunately, but uh, here, I'll just take a picture real quick. So I'll move it down so you guys can actually see the back. Bright sunlight, it works fairly well. So that's it guys, thanks for checking out my channel. Uh, hit that like button, subscribe. I'm coming out with a lot more videos. I know I've been slacking, but I've got a lot more videos coming out in the next couple weeks. So definitely come back if you like what I'm doing and uh, give this a thumbs up. Take care guys, till the next one.